Well, Baylor men's basketball needs to find a new director for operations or another position on the Baylor men's basketball staff because Adikia Malhotra, he's taking a job for the Phoenix Suns. And I honestly don't blame him because he's worked so hard for it. And it's an upgrade and more pay as well. Like he and like he was at Baylor for nine years, and his third and it would and like he was a director of operations for the last two. He joined the program in 2013-2014 as a grad, grad assistant until 2014-2015, and then he became the head coach for the I mean, a special assistant to the head coach from like 2015 to 2016, I mean 2015 to 2016 season and 2016 to 2017 season. His next two were director of operations and recruiting before being promoted to his, the current, I mean the, his last role at Baylor in, in the 2019-2020 year. His first eight years, he helped the program to a national title, six NCAA tournament berths, including three Sweet 16s, in seven postseason appearances, Baylor has posted a 192 to 70, 192 wins, 77 losses during his eight years on the staff, averaging 24 wins a year. And in fact, the two years that he has served as the director of basketball operations, Baylor's won 90 percent of their games, 54 and six. Including a 29 and 4 in Big 12 play and 17 and 3 against ranked opponents, they're expected. They were expected to be a number one seed in the 2020 tournament, but it was cut short because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But Baylor returned in the following year and earned that number one seed, and they won the first ever national championship, along with the winning the Big 12 championship for the first time, conference title, and men's basketball. In 71 years but prior to Baylor he spent seven years as a boys basketball coach at Greenville private school from like 2007 to 2013 he is a Houston native and he and actually he graduated from Baylor in 2006 with a bachelor's of business degree in sports sales sponsorship and sales so he is currently married to former Megan Moore, and the couple has one daughter, Milo, and one son, Aiden. This guy, not only he has grown so much, but he's even a better person. I could promise you that, based on the interactions with I, I had with him. I really, really did. I mean, he's, he told me at the games when I was a student, he appreciates a lot for coming to the games. And, in fact, he was, they decided to give me a pair of basketball shorts, practice basketball shorts that were Baylor. And then, in one year, like 2015, 2016 season, during that year, right before Christmas, and then, first Big 12 game against Iowa State in 2016-2017 season, I got uh, I received a neon jersey, and I am Baylor neon yellow jersey, and I am forever grateful for that. And I still do have it up to this day, and I'm proud to show it. And he was also the guy after the Iowa State game. This past year, when I received the, this Skip Gilman Fan Year Award for Ben's Basketball, he congratulated me in person after the game because I went down to the floor to celebrate getting the back to back Big 12 titles. I mean, he was one of the ones, besides taking me on social media as well. So. He's going to be missed, but I know he's going to work so hard and do his best to 
elevate his role with the Phoenix Suns or another NBA organization. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. See you guys later. That's going to be the point. Subscribe to more by the end of this year.